Welcome back to Easy Spirit 101. I hope you guys are doing really well. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm going to get right into y'all's reading. See what you need to know right now, today, at the time you see this message. What is going on with Divine Collective right now? What do you guys need to know? I have been getting this energy out a lot today. Something really deceptive is going on. This has come through in more than one reading. Somebody wants a passionate new beginning here. Um, this could be someone you've already been dealing with or it's just someone coming towards you. Their intentions aren't good here with the Seven of Swords. I'm really getting that this is a connection that someone has had um, in the past. Yeah, that you maybe closed the door on, wrapped a cycle up with. And I'm getting really here with the Ace of Wands and the Lovers that this was more of um, maybe you and this person never really got close. That It was more like intimacy. It was more hooking up kind of stuff rather than rather than like a healthy relationship king of swords could be an air sign but also also something to do with communication so maybe there's communication coming in with this person air sign gemini libra aquarius Yeah, here we have some more cards I don't like. Because this very much is like a fighting kind of energy. Like, I'm going to defeat you at all costs. This could be you, Divine Feminine, coming out as the Empress. And again, with this wand, this heavy wand energy, this person wants to, is going to... This person's intentions are to, like, connect with you or hook up with you. This is what I see this person trying to do and there's something deceptive behind it. It could be to try and conquer you. Like this is how this person thinks they're going to conquer you. We have this coming out in with vicinity of the world. You've walked away from this person and now you are, you're victorious and stable. And for some of you, you may even be moving towards a divine connection with the 1111 here on the Four of Wands. So let's see more about um, what is going on. What is going on with this deception here? I feel like someone here, um, they come from people in their history or in their past. There's a history here. I just saw mental health and guilty by association. So um, it's like somebody that this person is connected to is kind of not very stable in that department. And it's like affecting this person. Or vice versa. Show me more about this Seven of Swords here. Maybe this person even knows this. And that's part of what they're trying to hide. What is this deception? What is this person trying to deceive? This person wants to deceive. This is why this is coming out. This person wants to deceive someone here in the Divine Collective. Especially because this is probably why this is coming through. You may be getting closer. You may be getting really close to this, um, to some sort of significant connection. Yeah. 
This person is trying to get you to hook up with them. Again, this was coming through as like, this is how they can dominate you. This energy here is how this person can dominate you. And this is what their intention is. Yeah, this person's under judgment at this time. So really, there's not a lot to worry about here. Um, once you're under judgment, it's going to be really difficult for this person to come towards you. Again, you may have wrapped this cycle up. Yeah, called out. That's funny because with the judgment card, it's very much that like Archangel Gabriel has, has blown the horn has blown the horn. This is giving me blown the horn. Maybe this person's trying to do something to you because yeah, this is part of why they're upset. Part of their judgment here is that they're being um they're being pushed further and further out of your energy. Every day, added every day. What do they add every day? What do they add every day? Maybe trying to scheme. Either if this person, if this is someone you know from your past that you closed a cycle with, that you walked away from, and they're trying to contact you every day, be aware that that's part of what's going on. Like that's what the intention is here. Other than that, this person may be plotting. Yeah, plotting. This came out just as I was saying, plotting. This is what their intention is. This person believes that when they um, connect with you like that or sleep with you, that's funny. Um, I just saw jealous, jealous lover. This person's in fear too that you're gonna move on. That's they can probably sense this. We did just see you maybe moving towards. A significant connection part of the issue here is this person is like a jealous jealous lover type which is funny because earlier when I was walking in and out of here doing doing readings I started hearing that song um I don't remember who it's called but it's San Santeria Santeria who is that third not third eye blind I don't, I don't remember who it is. It's a popular song, Santeria. Look up the lyrics about that because that song is about like a jealous lover. A jealous lover. It's funny because they say in that song, what does he say? He says, um, I had a million dollars, but I spent it all. I don't know why that's standing out to me, but there might this might have something to do with finances for some reason. Maybe they want to dominate you because of your finances. This person may be down and out, down on their luck. What else does Collective need to know about this sneaky deed? This person added every day, they're trying to figure out it, either th this person is literally coming towards you, trying to talk to you. This is what the intention is in case you can't tell. But for those of you that that's not what's going on, this person is like behind the scenes, kind of plotting, plotting what to say to you, how to get to you, how to say the right thing. This person is, is like, this could be a past life partner or a past life situation if this situation feels, if this situation feels um, really familiar, this person feels really familiar. This may be a, a uh, past life situation that you have 
wrapped up in the past. This person may have trouble keeping a job. But I'm getting, I had another energy that came out earlier that's, that really caught my interest because what happened was, is when this person's energy came out, um, they, this particular person had brought karma into this lifetime. So it's like a lot of the struggles that they have, they've always had those struggles and they're going to continue having those struggles because they agreed to come into this lifetime having certain struggles specifically to pay off a karma for something that happened in another lifetime, maybe even specifically with you. So what is this? What is this secret? I've also been getting this coming out. Um, this, there's some sort of secrets going on. In regarding someone in the collective or some situation that you are dealing with or because of your past situation. I don't know why, but it's funny with this card, I'm getting fatalism. It like, this is a faded thing. I feel like this person is trying to, trying to trick this. I feel like I'm hearing what this one is like, this person is trying to trick, trying to trick fate. Trying to trick fate. They're trying to avoid something here. I think they're... This could be why. Maybe this person... Again, this person is being called out. Maybe it's starting to be exposed. What somebody has done. Maybe whatever the situation was in the past. With an empress here. With this energy next to this Empress, I'm getting this, this person did something like conniving. This, with the Seven of Swords, this person did something like devilish conniving so they would win. Um, and something they did here is like trying, something they did here is being exposed, secrets exposed, being called out. I feel like this person feels like this, this has something to do with something they did to you or with you and this person feels like they can trick fate and they can trick this happening if they get back with you or appear that's part of what's sneaky here this person doesn't even really want to get back with you they want to appear like they are back with you Yeah, this is something, this is part of some sort of fake. This is something about home. They want something, they want something to be home or look like home or feel like home. But this card is something to do with somebody's arrogance. I feel like this, honestly, this person, it's funny with this card, depending on the context of the reading, this card can go either way for me because I'm always drawn to this guy's like little raised eyebrow Then he almost looks a bit mischievous. So if the context is not right, then this is the mischievous um, version of this. This person could want to give you a special gift and by that I mean what is on this card this person wants to donate something to you and what they want to donate to you is um a night you'll never forget 
and it's very devious this person is faking this is giving me faking here this person wants to fake some sort of family fake energy uh, of a family fake something about leadership fake that this person's in charge of their business that they're leading their business yeah this is like seven of swords again Yep, this person, this person wants to create a scenario, but this is like, this is, it's not what it seems. This card is mystery, mystery, magic. This situation is not what it seems. Yeah, there is, um, this is when spirit is like clarifying what is being said in the reading. This is a strategy. What did I say earlier that even if this person isn't specifically, um, I don't know why I just got mind reading. Maybe when this person is close to you, they're really good. This is almost giving me like dark gifts. When this person is close to you, they feel like they're really good at reading your mind. And then they do that to sort of strategize, to play some sort of game here, to plot and plan something what is this what is this what is coming out about this person I'm going to start here and then we'll get into that what is coming out about this person and why look I just cut to the there's something here to do with finances too I just cut straight to the devil and there's something with finances. So why, let's see, what is, what is coming out about this person that they're trying to trick or dodge or yeah. Some of you, some of you coming out as the high priestess. Some of you are known to be very intuitive, very psychic. You may have made a prediction about this person. And this person is like frightened or uncomfortable. This person, to me, when I read this here with their little devious games, this person might have gifts as well, but they use them for the wrong reasons. But this person's afraid of... This person is be afraid of being caught for something. Maybe taking something from you. This can either be joining in power or splitting power. But this person's intentions aren't good. So Yeah, what is coming out about this person? This person is manipulating some sort of situation. This is what came out earlier. Again, they want to appear to be some sort of family unit, to be some sort of leader of their family, to make it look like something wasn't done here. The magician in reverse is very much someone who does this who sits here and like maybe has this mind reading capability and then turns around and uses it against you this person may be being called out on yeah something writing this is like giving me with this ace of pentacles in reverse that this person like rides off of other people's energy or rides off of other people's money coattails something some of you this is why 
is it this is what we saw earlier yeah karma is coming in this person can sense this because you had that um four of wands come out earlier you have a karmic new beginning and your karma is good because of whatever this situation was here and this person wants to trick this karma maybe this person knows that if you're getting some sort of blessing of karma they're getting some sort of like they're going to be trapped in negative karma so this is why this person is trying to retie the sneaky deed is they're trying to retie themselves to you reconnect to you especially if they were connecting to your energy and you cut that off this person wants to retie themselves to your energy yeah i would i don't know if i said it earlier but when this first came out sometimes this card can mean that this person needs some sort of healing this person can't get across this boat with or get across this like river by themselves um this card can indicate sometimes like mental health issues especially with the magician in reverse and then this this is part of what's going on this person may be actually being called out by others that they're it's starting to look obvious maybe maybe even um someone knows that you blocked them because of mental health issues or something like that there's a lot of gossip surrounding this person's family member is like gossiping gossiping about this twisting and turning and you're getting so if this person is coming in to try and block you or stop you or drag you back into something it's because you're extremely close to some sort of blessing here Um, this, what's funny too is whatever this person is tr trying to pull off is probably not even going to take off the ground very well. It's not going to work very well. This is like an opportunity in reverse, even for what this person is trying to create or conjure up for this. Again, they might be trying to work with you or appear to work with you. This person can't even pull this off because they're becoming increasingly, if you are not speaking with this person, it's best to keep it that way. This person is um, having a hard time, something to do with the way they're communicating. This person may be obvious, they're like exposing themselves. And for some, some of you, now that the cycle has been wrapped up or closed, this person is like the thing, the jig is up. It's not working anymore. So when they speak about things, it's just like wild. I, <laughs> it's not coming out right. <laughs> and also getting this, like this person doesn't stop. That's part of their problem. That's part of how they're becoming like obvious about something here. This person can't stop whatever, whatever they're doing. So what else does Divine Collective need to know about this? No, in reverse, yeah. No, because you said no to that. You put up a boundary. This person is, doesn't accept that. They reject that. Because they are trying to dodge some sort of fated event. Again, I don't know. Something that has to do with money here. Maybe you came into some money or there's some sort of money coming. There's something better with money. They know that you're getting some sort of finances. Or you are starting to look like something better. Again, this is some really karmic, toxic relationship. This person's either in one and trying to get out of it or 
either way, this clearly is someone who's like karmic to you that you've let go of. Yeah, you are, <laughs> this is you. You're like, I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. This person's rejecting this. Something coming within the next few weeks. This could be these finances coming in. Finances coming in within the next few weeks. Listen to your intuition about something. Definitely this person. Or this person is trying to come in within the next few weeks with their A game. And it really looks like you know better at this point. I'm really sensing you're not dealing with this person. Again, it's coming out that this person is like making themselves look obvious. But again, you're guided to listen to your intuition while dealing with this, something with this situation. Yeah, this... For those of you, some of you once upon a time, you may have thought this was like a divine counterpart or something. And because you listen to your intuition, the real deal is coming in again with the um, four of wands. The real deal is coming in for you. Anything else y'all need to know about this? This is giving me, you've been like working on changing your inner world. I can't see where that went. Y'all have been changing like your inner world. So you would attract something better. This situation had to do some of you, some of you end up in these situations with these karmic, karmic lovers and karmic lessons um, because you're carrying around heartache. Again, we can definitely, especially those like unknown phobias, unknown this and that, or um, let's use an example of like someone's son or daughter they've always had maybe depression but their family is very well rounded and stable and happy and loving so they're like it doesn't make sense this is part of what we're talking about here sometimes people not everybody everybody's on a different lesson and a different journey some of us, this in particular, if this was for you, either you or this person had brought in a heartache with this situation from another lifetime. You've dealt with this situation before. Wasn't that this reading that that past, yeah, past life party. I said that at the beginning of the reading that you may have dealt with this person in another lifetime. If this situation feels familiar, if this person feels so familiar, that could have been part of what was confusing you about this romance. But thankfully, you have listened to your intuition and now your situation is improving. This could even be, for some of you, the next few weeks, you really clear up this heart chakra blockage and your new person is on their way to you because you have been expressing good karma, good relationship karma all along, even maybe when dealing with this person. So this is very much about healing, healing this heartache from, this is like past life healing. Maybe surrounding family. Maybe you had a family with this person in the past. So there's something rooted with this situation and having a family with this person. And you might be learning the truth about what this is and what it always was. Um, especially with this person it was coming out like, I want to give you a gift. And the gift is like 
a bun in the oven, but really it's some sort of fake, some sort of front. This person just like likes to appear like they are um, a family man or something like that. This may have broken your heart in the past. So you recently had to go through this lesson with this person. Yeah, energy work. That is definitely, this is definitely someone who had to. So if you haven't really made sense of it yet or figured it out yet, very possibly for some of you, especially if you've been dealing with, um, like, you know, your feeling is like, oh, like heartbroken thing. You can tell this by maybe you've always kind of felt like some, some, something. Maybe you've always been kind of distant from relationships. You've always had trust issues and it didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, maybe you were very sad and you didn't really know why. Something like this. I've heard a message too earlier. Earlier I had a message. As difficult as it sounds, pray for your enemies. Pray for your enemies and understand that whoever hurt you, they, somewhere along the lines, it could have even been lifetimes ago, something happened to this person. Maybe even someone did this to them. Someone might have did this to them in another lifetime. And now they're like an uh, amplified dark version of this pain that they've been carrying. So really you're being guided to... to to forgive this person you're being guided to um send them away with love here yeah it says you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desire so this energy is clearing out and you are definitely getting you're gonna get this what was taken from you is gonna come back to you in, in a bigger and better way, like better than you could have imagined. Some of you, again, I've seen this recently too, assertiveness. When this person comes towards you, you may be, from this energy here, um, you may be like habitually. Like you habitually push away love, push away relationships. You might not feel ready. Something, I've been getting a strong message too for someone in the collective that you may be hesitant to move forward when this Four of Wands connection comes towards you. You are very much meant to jump on it. Really, I'm getting like jump on it even if you don't feel like it. Jump on it. So I think that's all we have for you. Um, now you know, again, trust your intuition, but this person from the past is having, having difficulty with this shift. You've closed this cycle and the shift has occurred. So there is some plotting and scheming going on. That's what you need to be aware of. But again, with this energy, I really sense that you're not really going to deal with this person but it's just to be aware of aware that this person might try and come towards you several times because they are not done again the way karma is playing out it might not be looking very good for this person and your situation over here is looking abundant and loving so that's really what the warning is. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I will see you again next time.